Hey guys, uh, welcome back uh, to my channel. Uh, if this is your first time here, my name is Craig and I live in the Philippines with my wife and son. So in this video, we're going to be talking about why the Philippines is different or the things that make the Philippines different. And um, yep, there's quite a few. So without further ado, let's get into it. We'll start with one of my old favourites, the lips. <laughs> I think I think you might know what I'm talking about. I think there's even an emoji now for the old when you're talking to <laughs> the first time I saw my wife doing that, um I thought it was very endearing, you know. Um it made me chuckle because when you're when a Filipino is talking about someone, be it Filipino or Filipina when they're talking about someone, someone else, they don't like to point, so they'll go like this, with the lips. <laughs> it's, um, yeah, I guess it's a kind of respect. You know, in the, in the West, Western culture, we would just go like that, point, you know. So, yeah, it's very um, respectful, I would, I would say. Uh, and it's very, um, uh, what's the word, addictive. It rubs off on you as well, so I find myself Going like this all the time, <laughs> all the time as well. Um, the other thing is uh, the blessing. So this is uh, also um, a sign of respect. Uh, the younger person um, would bless uh, the older person. So they take the hand, the older person's hand, and they put it to the forehead. And you'll see that in the Philippines all the time. You know, whenever I uh, go on to um, my wife's parents' farm, all the young kids will come running over and uh, bless. Um, so there, that's another one. Um, I'm sure I'm going to miss some, but uh, anyway, we'll crack on. What about this one? Hi, Nako. <laughs> I'm sure you've heard that. Uh, what, would, what would we call that? Desperate cry? Hi, Nako. Um, it's said all the time, uh, usually uh, when children are involved. <laughs> so that's that one. And what about the sponsor? Um, it's very common in the Philippines uh, for them to to look for a sponsor because, you know, um, maybe they don't have uh, the same um, financial background or financial uh, noose um, as other people. So. Especially when it comes to um, weddings, anything like that. Um, we recently attended a wedding in the Philippines um, in December and we were um, invited to be the main sponsor or one of the main sponsors, which in, in a way it's looked on as being, um, it's looked upon as being um, uh, a nice gesture. Um, one other thing that's kind of unique, not really unique, but I suppose it is in a way, is the OFW. Um, I've never heard of an abbreviated um, term for other people working overseas, and there's plenty of them. Uh, you'll find, like, you know, if you go to any country, um, especially in Asia, uh, you'll find a lot of um, uh, overseas Filipino workers, but also people from uh, other countries, you know, Bangladesh, India, I've seen it um, quite a lot, um, especially in Southeast Asia. What about this? Uh, and this is something that the, the ladies both practice in the Philippines. When they laugh, they generally cover their mouth. I'm sure you've seen it. Um, again, I find it quite endearing, you know. Uh, it's cute and, you know, nobody wants to look in someone else's gob. <laughs> So, covering of the mouth is very unique. Um, and then, that brings me to uh, Sundays. Now, we lived in uh, Manila, in Malati for a year. Well, more so my wife, um, when she was pregnant. And uh, I was working in Malaysia at the time. I used to go across uh, every month. And we lived in, uh, actually in... Robinson's Mall, uh, they've got apartments there, so that's where we lived. 
and every Sunday, you know, we'd go down into the mall. And I remember the first time uh, I said to my wife, they're playing music, you know, we're walking around in the mall. She says, yeah, it's Sunday. <laughs> Fantastic. I thought it was great, you know. Where else in the world uh, but the Philippines? Uh, hang on, I'm just going to have a drink of my small cup of coffee. Mm. So, the other thing that's unique to the Philippines um, and is different is tricycles and jeepneys. So, the jeepney is actually um, something that came after the Second World War. Uh, when the American troops left, they left behind a lot of jeeps. And the Filipino people, being um, uh, as they are, turned them into um, public transport vehicles. So they've added bits on the end, and it's become kind of a cult uh, subject. You know, um, the jeepney has, has become very famous, and when you see some of the some of the designs are fantastic. Uh, you know, they really pride themselves on uh, how they look, and um, yeah, brilliant. Actually, another one uh, I wanted to talk about was um, the old karaoke. Um, where else in the world uh, <laughs> would you see um, the karaoke? So much so that when I started going to the Philippines, um, actually I got my uh, my mum uh, interested in it, and they have a karaoke machine uh, back in Scotland, um, which they use uh, quite a lot. It's great entertainment, you know, when the family comes round um, and uh, she brings out the karaoke machine. <laughs> We've had some uh, entertainment uh, from that. Um, and then we have uh, superstitions that I mentioned briefly. So, um, some of the superstitions that I know of, uh, I remember um, when my wife and I moved into a new apartment uh, in Malaysia, uh, she put these coins down. Every room in the house has got coins in the corner, which is like for sort of good luck, I guess. Um, that was one. And another one was when our son was born, um, she said we can't cut his hair until he reaches um, 12 months old. I've got to show you Kian's hair be uh, just before he turned one. Um, God, that must have been uh, horrendous trying to to, um, <laughs> well, for him to, to go around with all that hair. Um, but anyway, we did it, and uh, yeah, he gets regular haircuts now. Because I remember one time, Kian was lying on the floor, and I went to step over him, and uh, uh, she said, no, 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 you cannot step over him. That's bad luck. So, um, what about this one? Um, the wedding we went to in the Philippines recently, uh, my wife said, she sent me a picture of, a, I think it was a suit and a certain colour. She says, this is the colour you have to wear. So, colour themes at weddings. I've never heard of that before. So, maybe that's um, something else that's unique. Let me know, have you been to a wedding in the Philippines where you've been asked to wear a certain colour? Uh, okay, guys, I'm going to wrap it up for uh, this video. And uh, as always, take care. Cheers.